So, highly requested video, pero bagong lahat, I just want to remind you na crypto is volatile. Pwede ka manalo ng big time, pwede ka matalo ng equally as big. Kaya anything I say is not financial advice. Pera mo yan, and if matalo ka man, wala akong kasalanan dyan. My goal here in my channel with crypto is to inform, educate, as well as encourage long-term investing. That's right long term tayo dito. The market will punish you if mamadali mo mga bagay. Pero if nandito ka pa rin sa video na to, hindi natakot and committed dedicated crypto, again, I'm Matt. Huwag din natin pa, let's start. So as I mentioned in the previous video, marami scammers dito sa crypto and ang target nila yung mga babaguhan tsaka wala pang kaalam-alam and ayoko naman mangyari sa inyo kaya I decided to make this video. And since alam ko karamihan sa inyo nanonood with a mobile phone, gagawin natin tong buong tutorial na to with our phones. So hati natin to into three main parts. Una, gagawa tayo ng fresh new account sa Binance and bakit Binance yung ating pipiliin. Pangalwa, bibili tayo mismo ng crypto sa Binance and then pangatlo, I'll show you how you can transfer your crypto into a safe wallet para safe yung crypto mo from hackers and sorts. Okay, so whether you are in iPhone or Android, click mo lang yung App Store or Play Store, type mo lang Binance and automatic yung unang search result na lalabas dyan, for example dito, for sure yan na yung toong Binance. Just to make sure, dito sa Apple, uh, may 4.8 star siya with 2.3k ratings. And then yung developer IC, Binance Limited. Download lang natin siya. And then while that's downloading, gusto ko lang muna explain kung bakit Binance. So actually, marami pang platforms out there. There's Coins, there's Coins Pro, meron ding PDAX. Actually, hindi ko pa nagagamit si PDAX. The reason why Binance yung pipili natin is because of fees. Sa Coins and Coins Pro, ang taas ng fees dito, 0.1% lang. And that's why I like it. Tsaka pati maganda na rin yung UI niya. Another thing to note, si Binance, if i-compare natin sa stocks, para siyang broker. Pero ang actual or technical term niya dito sa crypto is exchange. So, ang tawag natin kay Binance ay isang cryptocurrency exchange. Yan wala lang. Gusto ko lang malaman nyo. Kasi para tayong nakikipag-exchange mismo ng crypto or tokens. Now, tapos na yung download. Open lang natin. Okay, allow natin yung notifications. Enter the app. By the way, meron akong referral link down in the description below. You can use that and get a 10% bonus sa mga trades mo. It also helps support the channel. So if gusto mo gamitin yun, the link is going to be down in the description below. If not, okay lang din. Nasa register page na tayo. And if gagamitin mo yung referral ID ko. And so once we've entered that, you can either register with mobile or with email. So click na lang natin yung mobile. Type natin Philippines. Yan, lagay mo lang yung number. So yan, once you're done, click mo lang tong arrow na to. And then may lalabas na ito. Slide mo lang, tapatan mo lang. So after passing the test, may sasend sa yung verification. Type mo lang dyan. Yan, so we now have an account in Binance. Go-authenticate ka. Punta ka lang dun and then click verify. So need mo dito ng ID. So fill up ko lang tong form na to saglit and I'll get back to you guys soon. So, after mo ma-fill up yung form na yun, sabi dito, ang document type na tanggap nila is an ID card or passport or driver's license. So, in this case, pipiling ko driver's license. And then, upload natin ang front page. Sobrang dali lang. So, yan. After taking the photo, click mo lang continue. And then, mag-upload tayo ng portrait photo. So, take photo tayo. Selfie tayo saglit. Ayan. So, let's just wait for it. Continue. Yeah, so we are currently reviewing your document. Within 3 minutes daw. So, as I told you, madali lang to. Click mo tong facial verification. As sabi dito, avoid wearing hats, glasses, filters, and magandang lighting. So, start na tayong verification. Tapat mo lang yung phone mo. Too far from camera. Yan. O, diba? <laughs> Ang dali lang. Close. Ayan. Okay, so medyo epic fail kasi verified na ako sa isang account ko and at least strict sila when it comes to that. Isa lang yung pwede mo maging verified account sa Binance. So ang ginawa ko na lang, nag-login na lang ako sa previous or original account ko. Pero ang verification process sobrang dali lang. As I said, fill up na yung form and then facial verification and then you're gonna be good within a couple of minutes. So once that's done, we can now move to the next step and bibili tayo mismo ng crypto. Now, there are two main ways kung paano ka bibili ng crypto. So P2P trading or credit or debit card. Kung meron kang credit or debit card, pwede kang 
automatic dito pala pwede na mag-exchange from PHP to Bitcoin or Ethereum, BNB, USDT. So yan, pwedeng-pwede ka na bumili ng crypto with just your credit or debit card. Pero, ang mainly na gamit ko ay P2P trading. So P2P, ibig sabihin person to person or peer to peer. So bibili tayo from another person ng tokens. Now, hindi ako nabili ng Bitcoin or Ethereum or uh, ibang coins directly from P2P. Ang ginagawa ko, bumibili muna ako ng USDT bago bumili ng ibang tokens. So ano muna yung USDT? Ang USDT, Tanggalin mo yung T, USD matitira dyan, which is also US dollar. So, ibig sabihin, isa siyang US dollar in token form or crypto form. So, kung ano yung value ng dollar ngayon, yun din yung value ng USDT. So, yan. Dito sa page ng P2P trading, meron ka makikita dito sa taas. Pwede ka mag-change ng currency if ever na iba yung currency na gusto mong ipapalit sa USDT. And then, makikita mo may buy and sell. So, if ever na gusto mo ng USDT, magbabay ka. Pero if gusto mo na mag-cash out, pumunta ka naman sa sell section. Pero since gusto natin bumili ng USDT, dito tayo sa buy. And then yan, pwede, pwede ka na bumili ng Bitcoin, PUSD, BNB, di ba? Iba't ibang prices. Ito yung mga sellers na tinatawag natin. Now, makikita natin na nagko-compete sila with prices. Ito, mas mababa dito. Pataas na yung pataas. Pero what you're going to notice is pababa na pababa yung price. Pataas din ang pataas yung limit. Ito, 50,000. Ito, 5,700 lang. Pero for uh, demonstration purposes, magtatest buy lang tayo ng 1,000 pesos. So, hanap tayo ng seller na nag-offer ng 1,000 pesos lang. So, ito, kay Mark Jello, pwede na to. By the way, ingat nga pala. Kasi sabi ng friend ko, rare naman daw, pero may mga scammers din dito sa seller's page dito. In order to be sure na legit yung seller, uh, make sure na bibili ka dun sa may mga check marks. Pero hindi naman lahat scammer, okay? Uh, check mo rin yung number of trades and then yung completion um, percentage. So yan, makikita natin na uh, yung iba nag-offer ng Gcash and then yung may mga yellow na icons katulad nito ay bank transfer. So ito si Mark Jello may 2,225 trades na. So marami-rami na. And then 99.82% yung completion. So maganda-ganda na yung status niyan. So once you're here, click mo lang yung amount and then type natin 1,011 since yun yung limit. Yan. So click mo lang. Makikita mo na yung crypto amount na makuha mo. 20.52 USDT and then fiat amount yung total click mo lang buy USDT. So yan, once you're in this page, makikita mo na yung total tsaka itong payment method. Click mo lang to. Then lalabas dito yung details ng seller. So magbabang transfer kayo dito sa details na to. And then once you're done, click mo lang tong transfer the fund. And then once that's done as well, punta ka dito sa conversation button na to. Isasend mo yung screenshot mo. Pero since meron na akong USDT, ikakancel ko na lang to. By the way, wag kayo masyado mag-cancel ah. Kasi baka ma-ban kayo. Ayan, so once that's done, nabayaran mo na si seller and nabigay na sa yung USDT sa Binance account mo, pupunta ka naman ngayon sa wallets. So click mo lang and then pupunta ka sa P2P section dito sa taas. Makikita mo yung USDT na magre-reflect na sa account mo. So in this case, may $10 ako ngayon sa P2P ko. Then what you're going to do, click mo lang yung transfer. Click mo lang transfer. And then from P2P wallet, ita transfer natin to spot. Change mo lang from BTC to USDT. Next is type lang natin yung amount na gusto natin i-transfer from P2P to spot. Yan, so magre-reflect na ngayon sa spot. By the way, medyo uh, maraming process pero I assure you, napakadali lang nito once you get used to it. So, makapansin mo na tinransfer natin siya sa spot. Pero marami pa ditong services like margin, futures, P2P, probably for another video na yun. So, dito kasi sa spot, dito tayo mismo bibili ng tokens. Dito sa margin, futures, iba yung usapan dyan. So, yan. Meron tayong $10. What you're going to do next? Pupunta tayo dito sa trade. So, yan. Makikita natin na meron tayong 10 USDT available. I just want to clarify na mali pala yung nasabi ko in the previous video. Si Binance pala may minimum number of dollars bago ka makabili. So, $10 which is roughly around 500 pesos. Okay, so let's just say na gusto natin bumili ng Bitcoin. So, dito sa section na to, makikita natin yung mga bids and asks. Parang sa stock lang. And then, makikita natin may buy and sell. So, gusto natin bumili. So, buy. So, makikita rin natin merong 
limit, market, stop limit. So, mainly, ang gagamitin mo dyan, limit or market. So, yung market, bibili niya na automatic yung lowest ask. Gusto natin bumili sa 50,000 Bitcoin. So, pipili tayo na ng limit, and then enter natin 50,000. Hindi yan. Type natin $10. Yan. So, sabi dito, makakakuha tayo ng 0.0002 Bitcoin. <laughs> So yan, click lang natin yung buy. Yan, nabawasan na tayo ng BP para sa stocks lang. Makikita natin yung order dito. So hindi pa siya na-fill kasi nasa $50,020 na siya. So hintay natin siya ma-fill. Yan, na-fill na tayo. If ever naman na gusto mong magbenta, pupunta ka lang dito sa sell tab. Ganun din. So type mo lang $10, di ba? And then click mo lang yung sell BTC. Ayan, punta tayo sa wallet tab natin. And then makikita natin yung Bitcoin nag-reflect na. So meron tayong 9.99 worth of Bitcoin. Yan, officially, you are a Bitcoin owner na. Yan, so I hope excited kayo kasi meron tayong Bitcoin. Moving on to the next part, may problema kasi kay Binance. Okay, and other exchanges out there. Ang exchanges, pwede yan ma-hack. Pwede yan ma-infiltrate ng hackers. And pwede makuha yung Bitcoin mo dito. So that's why we are going to transfer our crypto to a safe wallet para if ever na ma-hack si Binance, hindi makukuha yung Bitcoin natin. Safe na safe siya within our wallet. So ang gagamitin natin wallet ay Trust Wallet. So punta lang kayo sa App Store, type mo lang Trust Wallet. And then yan, makikita mo tong first result. Trust Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. Yan, so... Click lang natin get. Download nyo lang. And then yan, may 4.7 stars, 1.4k ratings. Ang developer ay si 6 Days LLC. Intay na natin yan mag-download. In the meantime, I just want to explain the benefits of having a wallet. So, ba Parang wallet sa totoong buhay. At least hawak mo siya. Ang analogy kasi dyan, si Binance ay yung pawn shop na may hawak ng gold. Doon tayo bibili. If we let the Bitcoin stay sa Binance, parang sinabi na rin natin sa pawn shop na dyan muna yung gold ko, okay? Ingatan nyo, pero what happens if manakawan yung pawn shop na yun? E di wala yung gold mo. So that's why we have a wallet. So kukunin natin yung gold galing sa pawn shop, transfer natin sa ating wallet para safe na sa atin. And yun yung purpose ni Trust Wallet. So marami pang wallets out there. I'm gonna be leaving some of them in the description below. Pero... For demonstration purposes, gagamitin natin ay trust. Sasabihin sa'yo, create new wallet or I already have a wallet. So of course, since baguhan pa lang kayo, kiklik mo yung create new wallet. Click mo lang, click continue, and then sabi dito, back up your wallet now. So in the next step, you will see 12 words that allow you to recover a wallet. Click mo lang itong I understand and click continue. So yan, yan yung recovery phase na iaharap sa'yo. So ito napaka-importanteng step. Please, 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 kopyahin mo tong recovery phrase. Isulat mo to sa papel, sa notebook mo, sa secret notebook mo, sa, sa password manager mo. Kasi this is gonna be very... Kasi pag nawala mo tong recovery phrase na to, habang nandun yung Bitcoin mo, wala na. Wala na. Wala nang way para ma-recover yung account mo. So ito, isang tip na mabibigay ko. Isulat mo tong recovery phrase na to sa tatlong papel. Yung isang papel, ilagay mo sa safe place mo. Yung isang papel outside your home. Yung isang papel sa isa pang safe place mo. Para lang may recovery ka if ever na mawala ang isa. Kasi I promise you, pag hindi mo to nagawa na mabuti, you are going to lose your Bitcoin. Actually, maraming bali-balita na na may mga Bitcoin owners since 2011, 2013 na nakalimutan yung password nila, yung recovery phrase. So, this is a crucial step. So once that's done, click mo lang continue. Now, ito na yung wallet kung saan natin ilalagay yung ating Bitcoin. So in order to transfer from Binance to our trust wallet, kiklik mo lang tong Bitcoin na to. Kiklik mo lang tong receive. And then yan. Pwede QR code, pero in this case, kakopy natin. So babalik tayo ngayon sa Binance. And then click mo lang tong Bitcoin na to. Click on withdraw. Yan. So, dito natin ipipaste yung address na kinapi natin. Okay? So, automatic na kita niya yung network ay Bitcoin. 
And then, pwede rin, katulad ng sinabi ko, pwedeng QR code. So, isa-scan mo lang. Sabi dito, may minimum na 0.001 Bitcoin. Unfortunately, hindi natin mamimake kasi 0.001 yung Bitcoin. And for the purpose of this video, bumili na rin ako BNB para makomplete naman yung next step. So, ganun lang din, withdraw. Pero, babalik tayo sa Trust Wallet. And then, babalik tayo sa homepage. Makikita mo itong BNB. Click mo lang receive. Copy. Babalik tayo dito. Tap to paste. So, yan. Automatic na detect niya ng network ay BEP2. Usapang network. Napaka-importante nito. If mamali kayo ng network na piliin, itong BEP2, BEP20, ERC20. I know, medyo complicated okay. Pero, just make sure na tama yung network na pipili nyo. Kasi kapag mali, and na-transfer nyo yung iyong Bitcoin or other crypto, mawawala yan. So, since we are trying to withdraw BNB, BEP2 network siya. So, automatic naman siyang na-detect. And if ever na magpalit ka ng network, katulad ito, BEP20 BSC, sabihin sa'yo, this address does not match. So, dun pa lang, ano, mali na agad yun. So, ERC20, try natin. O, ba diba? At least, may ganong precautionary si Binance. So, BEP2 yung pipili natin. So yan, try natin mag-withdraw ng 0.1 BNB. And once that's done, click mo lang withdraw. And then, click on confirm. Hindi naman natin kailangan memo. Yan, confirmation lang. Okay, 0.1. Confirm. Then, uh, verification code na naman. And since gamit ko yung phone ko as my camera, I won't be able to send it. Pero once you've done all of that correctly, makikita mo na yung BNB or Bitcoin mo sa trust wallet mo and then you're good to go. Officially, long-term Bitcoin investor ka na. <laughs> so again, recall lang, advantages ng withdrawing or transferring your crypto to a wallet is safe yung crypto mo pag nagkaroon ng security breach or na-hack si Binance. Only danger na lang ng crypto mo sa wallet mo ay kapag na-hack yung phone mo. Okay? Kapag na-nakaw tong phone na to. And then, nagkaroon ng access yung magnanakaw sa iyong wallet. Well, doon ka delikado. And that's why, hindi pa natatapos dito. If ever na gusto mong i-level up yung security mo, meron tayong tinatawag na cold wallets. So, ito kasing trust wallet ay isang hot wallet. Which means, basically, na digital wallet. Pero yung cold wallet, physical wallet na talaga siya. Para siyang USB stick kung saan doon mo i-store yung Bitcoin mo or yung crypto, encrypted na siya. Yun ang safest method ng storing crypto. The only way na lang na mananakaw yung crypto na yun is if manakaw yung stick na yun. Actually, wala pa akong cold wallet. I am about to buy pa lang. And I'm probably gonna make another video about that. So stay tuned. Pero if hindi naman ganun kalaki yung ilalagay mong pera, less than 500k or 1 million, I mean... Okay na okay na rin naman tong trust wallet na to. Bonus advantage na lang ng may wallet. I-encourage talaga to ng long-term investing. Kasi kapag nasa Binance yan, matitem ka talaga na i-trade yan if ever kunyari bumaba ng konti yung price. Pero if nasa wallet mo, magtitink twice ka kung ibabalik mo ba to sa Binance, may fees, ba? Diba? That's basically it. Pero that doesn't end there. Pwede mo pang gamitin tong crypto na to in staking, in liquidity pools, basically earning you passive income, interest from your crypto. And that's why I love this. Sobrang daming use cases. Hindi lang natutulog yung pera mo. Hindi lang nag appreciate yung price ng coin. Pero you also earn more or other tokens. You also earn interest. Diba? Sobrang daming possibilities. And it's just too much for one video. Kaya I have to end it here. Pero I hope you like this video. And if you did, uh, like naman ng video na to. Subscribe if hindi pa. Comment down below kung anong gusto nyo pang malaman in crypto. I promise you, sobrang daming pa natin i-discuss. Simula pa lang tayo sa crypto age. I promise you. And that's, it makes me so excited. Hindi ka pa excited. That's it. Let's grow the bank account. I'll see you soon.